So welcome back, this is the Star Runner, built by Basement Warrior. This is his Sunga Regatta entry. Um, it's a very unique design, he's got much thinner, wider sails than most people. He's gone for a sort of XY sail, <laughs> is what I'd say, because it's, you know, it's just really big on those axis. Um, and yeah, just having a little look around some of the details here. So, looks like we've got some power in there interesting got the power in there with a little bit of lava so I take it there like maybe some maneuvering thrusters got a dock there for docking the ship maybe a shuttle coming around here we've got a massive docking ring and I do love docking rings docking rings are awesome look at the size of that docking ring it's huge if I manoeuvre myself in here a little bit, we can just have a look. I think, yep, we've got a core. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like all glass. That's a really nice idea. I, lo I love that idea. Hang on, we're going to take a look inside in just a sec, but I want to see it from the front here. Wow. That's going to be something special inside, I can tell. I can tell already. So obviously that's his uh, airlock and moving back we've got excellent this looks this looks amazing I love it he's got a tiny little biome area I guess uh, moving back we've got some more crew areas I take it we've got to have somewhere to put actual ship systems thrusters on along the outside oh no that's actually a corridor two turrets I think eight turrets I think they are turrets and they're really neat as well. Where are the guns? <laughs> they must be inside. It's just, all I can see is thrusters around them. Which is cool though, in a way, you know. <laughs> so there it is. Star Runner. Let's take a look inside. I'm loving the design on it though, because it's really sleek. I mean, look at these, these wedges. So, yeah. Exposed, it's exposed, but without losing the shape. <laughs> so let's just uh, jump inside. I've got a computer. Here we go. Hello, hello, buddy. So what do we got here? We've got a chair for controls. Look at that view. Here's the core. So let's just check that. Check out the stats on this. So it's got a mass of 1,304, thrust of 1,262, which means he could actually go up on the thrust on this one. And then the height, uh, length 114, height 149, width 149. So it's at the limit for everything but length, interestingly. Okay, so uh, turning speed on the X of 1.1, Y 1.1, and Z 1.1. Shields, 44,000. 2,250 shields per second recharge. So yeah, um, I suppose I could say yeah, 22,000 power, 39,684 recharge per second. That's pretty much it. Um, I will take a quick look. I'm not going to fight. No, no. See, it doesn't need guns. See, it's got turrets. I recommended that for people so they can just, you know, so you don't have to aim at things and go off course. But let's just take a quick look at the inside details in this room. I mean, look at look at that. The fl the floor the floor you're standing on is is actually raised from the from the uh, from the, from the cabin exterior. Gives it a lovely floating effect there. And he's using black and brown to signify the difference between you know like a desk and the floor, which is quite a nice distinction. It stands out nicely. Look at that. So we've got a camera to look out of. So we've got a viewpoint here. Got a viewpoint there. Bet there'll be more. So moving through. Oh, look at this. Got deck chairs, man. Check out this deck chair. Come on. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> So 
So what's this then? Ooh, stuff downstairs. Shower. <laughs> cool. Ah, oh, blast door for the windows. And the bed, just in case I want to go to sleep. That's awesome. Well done, mate. That's really cl that's really clever. And uh, yeah, so you could just jump up here, or you could go up the stairs. So up here, we've got what looks like some kind of research station, maybe. So yeah, basement warrior bringing the goods with his solar regatta entry. This is a really detailed example. Beautiful. Can we get out this way? Yeah, we can. Nice. Nice. Turret access. Turret access doors. There we go. And you can jump in your turret. So that's one for each side. And it looks like. Yeah, a way out, a way off the ship at the back. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's float our way back. So I'm liking the distinction. It's like this is like a computer core engineering area with all exposed blocks, and then as we come forward, we've got a science area slash captain's quarters, I guess. <laughs> Brilliant. And then moving down. Got our eco dome area. Moving down. More computers. Really like how people use their computers, then decorated panels rather. Uh, two airlocks on each side. And then another one. Now, this is cool. Uh, this reminds me a lot of the design I went for with my ship, only his is a little, well, it's a lot more detailed than mine was. And uh, there's a lot of elements here which I, I would have loved to use on my ship. So. Yeah, fair play. Um, he's really gone for it with this with this design. It's 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 so similar in a way. I mean, it's it's his unique design, but just the sort of you know, it has the uh, the big sail with the core at the front rather than at the back or in the middle, and then it's got this big docking uh, system attaching the sails with the docking ring, and then here we have a great big you know glass lots of glass like observatory style piloting cockpit if you would call it that with the core there and then uh, going back you've got an airlock <laughs> then an eco dome behind the airlock so it's the same it's the same floor plan almost only obviously mine didn't have anything behind the airlock so this is all all original I love it it was all original 100% but uh, I don't know I'd, I'd make it like a sister ship or something if I could huh because it's so similar it's just obviously he's done it in his own in his own style I like this a lot I like this a lot this is a really good shit because um, all the boxes mine checks his checks and his has got a few more as well I like it it's really cool so there it is another unique entry for the regatta coming up tomorrow so uh yeah thanks for bringing it down and um i hope if there are other if there are other people that have not m managed to meet the time limit i think i will be doing this one again there will be a rehost but the date will be announced because uh, i think a few people had last minute things they couldn't get out of so obviously we'd like to see them participate and i don't mind running the event twice so no problem no problem right so that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.